Get ready for YSU Theater's next virtual production, premiering this weekend. We take a behind-the-scenes look at the production in this week's After Hours Report. Hello and welcome to the After Hours Report. I'm Maggie Young and last weekend we had some lovely summery weather to enjoy. But now the temperatures will start to take a dive and all I've got to say is thank God for virtual theater. With pandemic numbers on the rise and the cold slowly creeping in this weekend, what better way can you think to spend it than cuddled up at home with Youngstown State University Theater's latest virtual production. And that production is Elegies A Song Cycle by William Finn. Recording memories. Um, these songs are, I mean, they are they are sad, um, but they're also inspiring hope. You said that life has Dr. Maria Fenty Dennison is the director of YSU's second virtual theater show of the season. Elegies is a musical theater song cycle and it was written to commemorate 9-11. We were looking for something that also could resonate with what we're going through now. A song cycle is a group of songs that shares thematic material and is meant to be performed as a larger entity. So this particular song cycle um, shares a common theme of memories. Amanda Beagle is the show's music director. When people listen to this music, they're going to experience a range of emotions. I'm really excited for people to hear our students showcased in this really juicy material. They've had a wonderful opportunity to stretch themselves vocally as well as as actors. Amanda says priority number one when it came to putting on this production was the safety of the students, faculty, and staff, which meant an interesting rehearsal process. I actually taught every note of this music in the Zoom room, <laughs> which um, had me sweating at times, but um, I can tell you that these students were so committed to this project. We've done some of it on WebEx because we have a big WebEx system so we could do some staging and choreography. And of course, recording the show's audio and video was a process in itself. The theater and telecommunications departments teamed up to make it happen. What we did is over the last month or so, over two weekends, we shot them in Ford Theater. Um, three camera shoot, so we set them up on platforms. We went in and recorded 20 scenes, um, basically the video portion of it. Ryan Donchus, the show's video production supervisor, says besides himself, the video production crew working on the show included a mix of recent graduates and current students. We kind of had a rough final yesterday, so today we're making a few minor revisions to uh, scenes, transitions between, and that kind of thing. So what Scott here is taking care of is really the lower third right now. It'll just fade up with title scene to kind of connect what's going on in this, and that's when we'll start from that. Singing all together on stage was not um, doable because the experts are telling us that particles in the air are what spread COVID-19. So singing is not always encouraged. So we were able to take our students into Take Note Productions in Austin Town. That's our wonderful Jack Chernello, who was in charge of our sound engineering and our backing tracks for this piece. The show includes 26 cast members. Plus, you can also expect to see three special guest performers, Maureen Collins, James McClellan, and Kivy Khan Lipman. For many involved in the show, doing a virtual production was an entirely new experience. Being in the show has been such a new experience that I think I've had. I've never really been in a film aspect or in an aspect where things aren't together, where you aren't with the cast. Torrance Bajusic is one of the 26 cast. She performs the song Infinite Joy. Life has 
My song happens to be about hope, <laughs> which is very nice. There's a lot of songs that are a little more upsetting, very sad, very heartfelt. They're still gorgeous at the same time. But I would say my song is particularly about hope to show that even out of all these tragedies and everything that has happened, there will be good times again. This production has really challenged all of us and sometimes in unusual circumstances there's opportunity and it can sometimes bring out the best in us and I feel like this result is definitely the best in the students here. Um, it's different but it's fabulous and it definitely brought together a collaborative spirit that brought up has brought out the best in YSU. So be sure to check out Elegies going live this weekend on the interwebs. Showtimes are Friday at 7.30 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday at 2 and 7.30 p.m. There will be a second lineup of shows November 20th through the 22nd. You can find the show and buy tickets by visiting showticksforyou.com slash events slash Youngstown State University. Tickets are $10 for single viewer general admission and $25 for a group viewing. Of course, the show is free for students, faculty, and staff with a YSU banner ID. And just a little extra teaser, YSU's next virtual production, going live on the Cliff College's YouTube channel on December 4th, is this festive YSU musical theater cabaret, Chillin' in a Winter Wonderland. So be sure to mark it down on your calendars to get ready for the holiday season. And remember, you can always find all the latest entertainment news and what else is happening this weekend and beyond by visiting AfterHoursYoungstown.com. Thank you all so much for joining me for this week's After Hours Report. Stay safe out there, and I will see you all next week. Built for the 21st century American workforce, Eastern Gateway Community College has two campuses and is a national leader in online learning. EGCC.edu is a digital gateway where 30,000 students are quickly transforming their financial futures through degrees, certificates, transferable credits, and higher paying jobs. And now, residents of the Mahoning Valley can enroll in summer classes for free. It's the EGCC Summer Guarantee. Eastern Gateway, America's new workforce starts here.